This episode of Variant is brought to you by Audible.com. Today on Variant, I review The Dark Knight Rises film with guest Ryan Conley and see how it stacks up against the comics and other Batman films. Oh, and we're going to touch on the Man of Steel teaser too. Welcome to Variant, where we love comics more than Italy hates Jersey Shore. I'm your host, Eris Quinones. So I'm sure most of you guys saw The Dark Knight Rises over the weekend. I know I definitely got my butt to a theater seat to see it. So as I always do when comic book movies hit theaters, I'm going to give you my review on it and compare it to the other Batman films and the comics. So did I think it was the best Batman film to date? And what do I want to see from the next wave of Batman films when they reboot it? Well sit down and watch with the viewing balls. I'm about to discuss it all with Ryan Conley from Film Riot. <laughs> Once again, I have Ryan Conley here with me to review a comic book movie. Hi. We just saw The Dark Knight Rises, but before The Dark Knight Rises, they Hi. had the Man of Steel teaser. Teaser, yes. What did you think of, of it? I loved it. I thought um, it, it was the tone of, of, of a Superman movie that I never knew I wanted, but the yes. second it started, I was like, yes, mm -hmm. this is exactly the Superman movie I've always wanted. Well, that's the one I've always wanted. I wanted one where they take him a little more serious because yeah. they've always done him campy and like and he's always come off a little sissy it feels like yes. we're gonna get a manly man of steel yes. which it looks the part where um uh breaks he breaks the sound, the sound barrier uh, i went but let's wow, not digress allow. too much let's get to the main event shall we okay let's do this let's do it dark knight rises what did you think about it i liked it a lot um okay. but uh shockingly enough to me i did not absolutely love it like i absolutely love the dark knight um, okay i actually like the dark knight better than this one right. and uh, the, i think the way i said it to josh when we left was um i said uh, the, the dark knight is is like a, the woman i wanted to marry is the one <laughs> i wanted to marry this movie and i wanted to put a baby in its belly yes whereas the dark knight rises was the, the girl i the wanted to date and have a very serious relationship with. But not bring her home to mom. But not, but not, well, maybe she can beat the parents. Can she? But I'm like, I know, I know this is just for now. And we're going to, okay. sooner or later, we're going to break up. It's just convenient for the now sake. No, it's even, it is, it is, it is pure adoration for each other. <laughs> but it, it is not marriage material. All right. Well, overall, I liked the movie. I, well, I, I thought it was great. The movie was awesome. Um, I loved Catwoman is actually, surprisingly almost, one of my favorite parts of the movie. I mean, yeah. I thought Anne Hathaway was all She did a great job. Did you mm -hmm. think she did a good job? I thought she did a great job. I mean, I have to admit I was just totally wrong. Right. I, I did not think she was going to pull it off as Catwoman, and mm -hmm. I actually thought she was the perfect Catwoman. Yes. I thought she was fan-freaking-tastic, and I loved her and Batman's... Uh, Relationship uh, together yeah. was great. It was, like, really reminded me of uh, Batman the Animated Series. If right. you, I'm sure you watched that when you were younger. <laughs> It's like the best cartoon, if best cartoon Number ever. Number one cartoon of all time. But should yes. we say, what, what do you think we should just say, what, what overall we liked? Um, yeah, well, overall, well, what did you like? Uh, overall, the things that I liked the most was just how epic it was. Okay. I mean, this was a huge movie. This had this some the of the biggest set pieces mm -hmm. and some of the most epic scenes. I mean, the last uh, uh, bit of the movie, just that just giant epic war, you know? I yes. Mean, insane. In Gotham, yes. Insane and absolutely amazing. Joseph Gordon-Levitt was oh my freaking gosh. amazing. I love him uh, the more I see. Every yeah. time I see him, I like him even more. It was my favorite Bruce Wayne story yet, which really the mm -hmm. movie... The movie was, a, was basically all about Bruce Wayne, yeah. and you think. Batman was only in it, like... Three times. But really. it didn't bother me. No. I, mean, I, I loved how he told mm -hmm. the story of Bruce Wayne. Um, all the main characters were amazing. Uh, the, the, the action. Yes. And, and the gadgets. The bat pod the bat was the pod coolest was the, it's it was, ever been. Yes, he uh, took it and made it even cooler than it was in The Dark Knight. The bat, which the, was uh, uh, the plane. With, yes, with the amazing. propeller. The, the design of it was fantastic. Um, so, I, I mean, overall, like, as a whole, I thought it was really freaking cool. Yes. Overall, um, uh, I liked it a lot. Catwoman was one of my favorite parts. I thought, um, I liked Bane a lot, but the only thing that took me out of the whole movie, actually, in general, was his voice. I think, would you agree with that? I've been see actually hearing a lot of people yeah, complain about I mean, his voice as well. I'm not the only one. <laughs> that's a part of my dislike yeah. section, uh, is his voice, for sure, yeah. Yeah, I, it sounded like Sean Connery mixed with Darth Vader to me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but what were, the, what were the things you liked the most about it? Um, the things I liked most was the bat was awesome. Amazing. I love how it was like, like a helicopter hybrid Plain yes, the blade thing. on the bottom. Yes, Will it was it blend. <laughs> freaking awesome. The bat pod was great. Um, I thought Catwoman and Batman's dynamic was great. Mm -hmm. Um, I love how they handled Bane. He was he was like halves these for me as as far as related to the comic books. Like, um, Nolan had his liberties with him, which was which was fine, I guess. You know, he he doesn't really stick 
close to the comics that much. He was actually quoted saying uh, he doesn't use the source material yeah. a while said, ago. Well, actually said the source material is irrelevant. irrelevant. which is... It's a little slap in the face. Yeah, come on, Nolan. But whatever. Little, got me a little mad. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, overall, I love the movie. I thought it was uh, pretty close to the comic books. It, it was... If I had to rate it from... In the trilogy, I think it would be my number two in the trilogy. I think I would agree with that. It would be The Dark Knight's my favorite, then Dark Knight Rises, then Batman Begins. Uh, but I thought Dark Knight was such a flawless movie. I mean, there yeah, were such was... big shoes to fill. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of things that I disliked um, about the movie. I mean, overall, I really, really liked it. But some of the things that kept me from absolutely loving it was I think the movie broke under the weight of its, you know own story there was so much there to be told and handled the concept right. was ho so huge it should have been spread across two movies i think and that would have been amazing because we could have explored catwoman more right. you know we could have explored bane more we could you know the whole second one could have been just been like the wrap-up of the insanity that which would have been, been cool. great because for me there was a lot of story elements where we just jumped from one thing to the other and i was like wait what happened and then there were the, another problem was the dialogue and some things where the actors were literally asked to tell the story it was just right. very expositional dialogue I, I do think it was I mean, I agree with you a little bit there, but I think overall with that part was, it didn't bother me that much because mm. in uh, Spider-Man 3, going back where there was a lot of stuff going on too, that annoyed the heck out of me. Really? It was like, he just threw stuff in there just yeah. for the sake of, like, like he put Venom in there just for the sake of saying, hey, the movie's got Venom in it, so come see it. Right. So, but this, like, George Miller Levitt and a lot of characters, I mean, I thought, didn't bother me. I, I, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, think, I think it worked. I think because for me, like, it's, it's like one critic said so well was, you know, Christopher Nolan is always exceptional in every movie he puts out. And even every movie, like I've said before, I think he's a god. That's And every movie true. he makes is better than the next one. So for him to put out something that's less than exceptional, it's kind of like, what is this? Yeah, I think... So it, it was great instead of exceptional. And for him, that's like a misstep, which it really isn't. It was still a great movie. And actually, uh, I was, it, it was so impressed with mm. the scope and you know with you know at the movie. ending how huge the ending was yeah and you could have got lost visually but instead it was just a visual delight right and it never lost you ever yeah the, the i thought did you like the story i like the overall the, the overall concept story. was amazing yeah like we were said earlier the bruce story was was great it was really yeah. um uh it reminded me of batman year one in the sense that it's not really a batman movie like batman year one was a mainly i would say a jim gordon story as this was a bruce wayne story so he kind of went that route where it's not right. mainly about Batman, which I kind of made me a little sad, but the Bruce story was so good, I didn't really care. So good, yes. Um, so, but I know they're going to reboot this. Mm -hmm. So it's only it's Batman. There's no way they're not going to reboot this. So when they do, are you going to be excited for that? Or I mean, I, I'm i in. I, I'm not one person that's like, oh my gosh, they're rebooting it again. Right. I'm always like, sure, give me another Batman movie. For, yeah. Sure, give me another Spider-Man movie. <laughs> Just do it well. Right. Like, you're going to reboot it, fine. Just take cue from Nolan and make a dang good movie with a really good story. You right. Know? I know I'm really excited for it because I love his trilogy. By far the best Batman trilogy. One of the best superhero trilogies, I would say. But I really want to see a Batman now. Now that we got the realistic Batman, I want a more comic book Batman. I want Batman the Animated Series... But on the big screen, where we can yeah. get Clayface. I want Mr. Freeze. Ah, I want, Clayface. I want, I want like Poison Ivy. I yeah. want all his. I would like awesome a more ninja villains. Batman. Yes, yeah. very, very like stealthy and stuff. Kind of like yeah. Batman, Ar Back Batman Arkham City, if, the vid if, but on the big screen. Yes. That yes. would be amazing. Start look at <laughs> Batman Arkham City and Arkham Asylum. Make that movie. Yes, I would. Got, I would pay twice. I'd pay twice. I, I would see it in 3D IMAX, bootleg it, everything, yeah. give it money. Yes. But overall, well, final thoughts. <laughs> I really, really liked it. I had some small mm. issues with it. Uh, most of them are really small. I think my biggest issue with it, which I think is your biggest issue with it, was Bane's voice. Yeah, it, it kind of um, made him not scary, where otherwise mm -hmm. he was intensely awesome. Yes, he looked um, great. But overall, I really liked it. And if you don't see it, you're insane. It's a, it's, you, it's a great yeah. wrap up. I just wish that they had more time. To, I, I hope that when they put out the DVD, or Blu-ray rather, <laughs> that they, they add all It'll the be footage on DVD, that was taken out. That's true. Because I, I think if, if that stuff was added back in, all my issues would be solved. I'm sure they'll they'll put that back in. I mean, yeah. like, you, like you said, my overall thoughts, great movie. The only really dislike is Bane's voice, which was, I think, every a lot of people would think the same thing too. I know that's yeah. one of your dislikes too. But overall, great movie, great trilogy. Nolan did a fantastic job with Batman. As always. Yes. He's, he's always he's, he's the Nolan we trust. In the Nolan we trust. In the Nolan we trust. So I'm really excited to see what else he does, yep. superhero or not. Indeed. Those Indeed. are, yes.
Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod or MP3 player and play back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre like science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. They actually have a lot of comic book stuff on there. Go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash variant to get your free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash variant for your free audiobook and check out all the cool comic book stuff on there. First up for Wednesday, July 25th is Avengers issue 28. I'm a huge fan of the Red Hulk, and in this Avengers issue, it's all Red Hulked out. Now we have Hit Girl issue two. Hit Girl is easily one of the coolest parts of Kick-Ass, and now she has her own title. So what are you waiting for? Go buy this. Here we have Savage Dragon issue 183. It's a special 20th anniversary issue of the Green Guy, so if you're a fan of him, you do not want to miss this one. Next we have Near Death issue 10. If you're a fan of crime or criminal series, this is definitely a must. A professional killer who has a near-death experience decides he's going to save a life for every life he's taken. And he's taken a lot of lives. Finally, we have Goon Issue 40. I love horror humor and this comic does it great. I really wish they would give the green light and make this movie already. Well, that's it for today on Variant, but like always, I want to know what's going on in your guys' heads, so post below with your thoughts on The Dark Knight Rises, as well as what you think about them rebooting Batman, as it's inevitable that they will do. You can also leave your comments on our Variant Facebook page, or just drop a, hey, what's up, man, or even a, how the heck are you, Ari? On my Twitter page at twitter.com forward slash Aris underscore Quinones, I am more than happy to talk to you guys. But it's that time again, and I must bid you adieu. But don't worry, I will see you next week when I talk about my top three essential Batman story arcs. It's going to be amazing. Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. This is my life.